you this lovely day <clears throat> in Los Angeles. It's like 70 degrees. And hopefully, keep our fingers crossed, we will be finally moving into spring and uh, continuing that over the last few weeks. It's been kind of a hit and miss. I mean, it could be warm and then raining and then snowing all in the same day. So that's a it's kind of freaky. <laughs> so uh, last week we uh, were talking about O.J. Simpson's passing, and while during that topic conversation, another topic that I had mentioned was Morgan Wallen. He's a an American country musician, country musician, and uh, apparently he was inebriated and he was on top of a six-story building bar. I think it's Eric Church's new bar. And he threw a chair off the roof onto the street sidewalk, and it just so happened there were apparently a couple or three police officers like right there, and it hit right near them. And so he's been charged with several felony charges. So I thought we would talk about it today. So let me pull that up. Uh, so who are we? Who is Morgan Wallen? Uh, he was. Uh, this is a picture back in 2019. He's a country music uh, a musician, singer, probably a songwriter as well. His, he was born Morgan Cole Wallen in May 13, uh, 1993, at age 30. That was, uh, I don't know if that's still current, but uh, anyway. He was born in Sneedville, Tennessee, U.S., singer, songwriter, and years active in the biz, uh, 2014 to present. So let's. Uh, Go ahead and go to uh, the video headlines, excuse me. So uh, the latest, is, this was breaking on uh, e-news on MSN uh, 15 hours ago. So he, he's Morgan Wallen breaks silence on the arrest over the alleged chair throwing incident in Nashville, so he was charged with some felonies, but uh, that's the headline, so I wanted to go to the video and just kind of update you. Uh, let me pull it, or you can see it better, so yeah, and whoop, 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 whoop. I can't see it, one moment. Oh, I know, I know what I'm doing, Ryan. One moment, sorry. I'm not an expert on this. Okay. I'll just go ahead and hit it. Morgan Wallen is dealing with legal troubles in Tennessee. The 30-year-old was arrested in Nashville late in the evening of April 7th for reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct. After he was accused of throwing a chair from a roof, his attorney Warwick Robinson confirms to E! News. Warwick adds of Morgan, quote, He is cooperating fully with authorities. The Metropolitan Nashville Police Department shares on X, formerly known as Twitter, that Morgan was arrested on three counts of felony reckless endangerment and one count of misdemeanor disorderly conduct for throwing a chair from the rooftop of Chief's Bar on Sunday night. As stated in their post quote, the chair landed on Broadway close to two MNPD officers, his bond $15,250. According to arrest records viewed by local outlet WKRN, officers were standing in front of Chief's Bar around 10.53 p.m. when they witnessed a chair fall from above and hit the street. Upon approaching the bar's security, staff members allegedly told them that Morgan was responsible for the incident. 
The officers reportedly viewed the footage that showed the singer, quote, lunging an object over the roof, which stands at six stories above the street. According to court documents obtained by E! News, Morgan is set to appear in court on May 3rd. kind of a strange event it's, uh, it's only speculation uh from what i've heard personally i've heard that he's had issues with uh inebriation and uh stuff in the past so i just hope he gets over it because uh morgan is an extremely talented musician country musician and artist and I just wish the best for him and hope he can get past this point uh, without, you know, hurting his career or his life uh, help. But it, it's a good thing that he's decided for sure to take accountability in this arrest, uh, realizes the wrong that he did. So that that's a good thing. So, uh, yeah, so let me do a little reading about who he is because most, a lot of people don't really follow country music and don't really know who he is. So, and I, I'll be honest with you, I'm not an expert myself. <laughs> so he's a more of a new artist, you know, so, so I'm just learning myself uh, on him. So again, his uh, full name's Morgan Cole Wallen, born May 13, 1993. He's an American country music singer and songwriter. He competed in the, oh, this is interesting. He competed in the sixth season of The Voice, originally as a member of Usher's team, but later as a member of Adam Levine's team. So after being eliminated in the playoffs of that season, he signed to a record label, Panacea, Panacea Records, releasing his debut album, I guess, or single EP, Standalone, in 2015. And he has received several awards, including an Academy of Country Music Award and 14 Billboard Music Awards. Like I said, I've listened to him, and my wife's really interested. My daughter, very interested uh, in in his career. So he's he's a, an extremely talented uh, artist. Uh, and uh, again, I hope he does uh, well. But in uh, 2016, Wallen signed to another record label, Big Loud releasing his debut album, If I Know Me, in 2018. The album includes the singles Up Down, which features the Florida Georgia line. Excuse me. Whiskey Glasses and Chasing You. If I Know Me reached the uh, album, reached number one on the Billboard Top Country Me album charts. Excuse me. While in second album, Dangerous, the double album, was released in January 2021 and in February 2021. I guess it's a double, two, two item, two. And became the only country music album in the 64-year history of the Billboard 200 to spend its first seven weeks at number one. <clears throat> and I like all of those uh, songs on that album. It spent a total of 10 weeks at the number one spot. The first album to do so since Whitney Houston's Whitney in 1987 that's impressive the album included the singles uh, more than my hometown seven summers wasted on you his third studio album one thing at a time uh, was released in 2023 it also topped the billboard 200 for 19 non-consecutive weeks 
with all of its 36 tracks entering the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, this broke the record for the most songs by an artist on the chart at one time. The single Last Night peaked atop the Hot 100 in 2023, becoming Wallace's first single to do so. Later, he set the record for the most weeks at number one spot for a non-collaboration song, as well as time for the second most weeks of all time and top of the year-end chart. A little bit on his early life, family, and education. Uh, <clears throat> Morgan Wallen was born to Tommy and Leslie Wallen on May 13, 1993. In Sneedville, Tennessee, <clears throat> Tommy served for a time as a local ch church pastor. That was his father. A local church pastor while Leslie worked as a teacher in his teens the family moved south to Knox County where he graduated from Gibbs High School he was a pitcher and a shortstop for the school's baseball team and hoped to continue in college in baseball but he tore his older collateral ligament ulnar collateral lig ligament in his senior year. <clears throat> As a child, while into piano and violin lessons, he was raised on a diverse musical playlist with his father exposing him to classic rock mainstays. In his teens, teens he gra gravitated towards bands like Breaking Benjamin and Nickelback as well as the rappers like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Wallen has characterized his early child adulthood, excuse me, as a drift. He worked in landscaping after high school and was disappointed by his inability to continue his baseball career. He reapproached his interest in music and began learning the guitar. He had grown to love country music, especially artists like uh, Keith Whitley and Eric Church, and he modeled his sound after that lineage group of group of people. A uh, little bit on his early career, The Voice, 2014 through 2017. In 2014, Wallen completed on the sixth season of the music competition program, The Voice. He auditioned with the song Collide by Howie Day. Judges Shakira and Usher complimented his stylings, and Wallen joined Usher's team. He was later taken by Adam Levine's team after his second round and later eliminated during the playoffs. Wallen was disappointed by the setback, but doubled down on his ambition. Some things in life are out of your control. Being the best you can be isn't. I didn't feel like I was the best I could have been, so I practiced harder. Still, the voice was instrument and instrumental in raising Wallen's profile and he began to establish some connections in the music industry. While in California to appear on The Voice, Wallen began working with Sergio Sanchez of Adam Smash, a vocal coach on the program. Wallen then relocated to Nashville, Tennessee to further his career and he and Sanchez started a temporary band, Morgan Walla and Them Shadows. Sanchez introduced Walla to Billy Ray. I don't know if this is Billy Ray Cyrus or just Billy Ray. And Paul Trust of Panacea Records. In 2015, Walla signed Panacea Records, signed two Panacea Records, where he was joined by Dominic Frost on the guitar and released 
uh, I guess that's a single EP, uh, standalone on August 24, 2015. Spin You Around was Wallen's debut single under Panacea Records. It was later certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America in 2021. <laughs> In 2015, Wallen's manager, Dirk Hensath, of Working Group Artist Management, sent a demo of Wallen to Big Loud Shirt South in England, who had Wallen audition for his partners in Big Loud Records. They signed Wallen to the label and the publishing company, who began pairing his song with other artists that year, he released his single debut album, or single debut, debuted his single, The Way I Talk. His first musical video for the song followed in 2017. Wallen then co-wrote the 8,000 Horses single, Preaching to the Choir, Dallas Smith's The Kelly, Bella Smith, The Fall, excuse me, as well as Jason Aldean's You Make It Easy with Florida Georgia Lions, Tyler Hubbard, Brian Kelly, and Jordan Schmidt. He joined Florida Georgia Line on their Dig Your Roots tour. He collaborated with the group on the single Let Down. His first song to reach the top five billboards, Hot Country Songs Tart. And then in the mainstream success 2018 to present time at the outside of his out at the outset of his career wallen underwent a personal stylistic shift adopting a distinctive mullet and a look that khalifa sania profiling wallace's ride in the piece for the new york new yorker described as every man rock star and not just a singer, but a character. Wallen had decided to adopt the retro hairdo after seeing a younger photo of his father with the cat. Wallen's debut, the picture, I guess, shows the mullet there. Uh, Wallen's debut stu studio album, If I Know Me, was released on April 27, 2018, with its third single. Whiskey Glasses, becoming the, his biggest success yet. The song reached the top spot on both the Hot Country Songs and Country Airplay charts. It also marked his top 40 appearance on all John Ray Hot 100 ranking, where it placed at number 17. It was Billboard's 2019 Top Hot Country Song and Top Country Airplay Song. Sania characterized Whiskey Glasses as his signature song and a perfectly constructed ode to a woman and a drink lost and found, respectively. In 2019, Wallen joined Florida's Georgia Line on their Can't Say I Can't Say I Ain't Country Tour. His next single, Chasing You, Coke. Uh, was serviced to radio in July 2019, and it peaked at number two on the Hot Country Songs chart. Like its predecessor, it captured the top hot spot on the overall year-end tally for 2020. In August 2020, If I Know Me reached number one on the Top Country Albums chart after a uh, record-breaking 114 weeks. Wow, 114 <laughs> weeks on the top. Dang. Uh, Wallace's profile continued to rise with a growing following on platforms like TikTok, and he developed. And you know, uh, we're talking about TikTok. They're talking about banning banning TikTok due to security reasons. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of mixed feelings on this extremely popular platform for social media. It would break First Amendment's freedom of speech, but we've also got to make sure that our personal data 
of all of the people who uh, post uh, videos and are, let's just call them members, on, on the TikTok platform, that their daily is not stolen and given Chinese. The because there's there's a lot of uh, data that they can capture, and it would it would be detrimental from a security point of view uh, if that was allowed to happen. So I don't know. There's a lot of mixed feelings on that. May do a may do a video on that next week. TikTok, uh, just leave comments in the description if you're interested. In, about that uh, or any other subject just let me know uh, Wallen appeared on the cover of the billboard whose red headline read is Morgan Wallen country's next global star well yeah he is so at, as well as others there's a lot a lot of great country music uh, singers out there now at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic Wallen found himself with more time to write and record material, which developed into his sophomore album, The Double Disc, Dangerous, The Double Album, 2021, which showcased the mix of country, R&B, pop, uh, ballad balladry. Dangerous was a, an immediate blockbuster, blockbuster, it debuted atop the U.S. Billboard 200 and the Canadian albums chart. It would remain atop the Canadian charts for four consecutive weeks and the U.S. chart for six consecutive weeks, marking the first new album from a country artist to do that since Garth Brooks. The Chase in 1992 it's singles, More Than My Hometown, Seven Summers, Sand In My Boots, and Wasted On You were record-breaking hit songs that has pushed Wallen further into the national conversation. Seven Summers earned, earned him the first top 10 on the, the Hot 100, debuting, debuting, and, and peaking at the number six spot. And he was also chosen by Time as one of the best songs of the year. Wallen soon became the first artist to ever chart six songs within the top ten of Hot Country Songs. Chart at the same time in the week after his album's release. Likewise, the album charted 23 tracks on the Canadian Hot 100 and 19 tracks on the Hot 100 in the U.S. Yeah. All right, I think that's enough reading. It's, it's safe to say that he's an extremely talented uh, country music artist, songwriter. Uh, he is already uh, very well known in the national conversation. Um, I just hope that this particular incident, and remember it's three felonies charges, so that's, that's serious. So if he can overcome this, uh, hopefully he can, you know, not be beset by any problems and can, you know, get that career continuing in the same path. I think he will. Uh, he, he took responsibility for his actions, apologized, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I do know, it's from my understanding, that he's looking at opening a bar himself in Nashville. So, not sure that's a wise choice. <laughs> so, we'll see. Uh, well, that's kind of all I have for this week uh, on the Table Talk podcast. If you have any ideas for... Uh, feature podcast, please don't hesitate to um, put them in the description. 
uh, board down there. Uh, also, I uh, appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel and continuing to listen to the podcast. Uh, I also have the Portal podcast. We're doing a study on uh, the Roman Forum and all the other tourist tourist hot spots in Rome, Italy. Uh, yeah, and. So I think I'll bring this uh, podcast to a close today. And so wherever you are in the, the world, I hope you have a great Saturday. And keep positive, and we'll see you next week. Take care, my friends.